Hello, my name is Kevin McGuire, and welcome to the very first episode of Day Drinking with Kevin. A seller, a day drinker's dream. For many of you, 2020 is probably a year you'd like to forget. I know for Tracy and I, we wanted to forget the global pandemic. Being quarantined at home with our kids, homeschooling our children. I know me personally, I'm reliving high school for the fifth time. And for people in the wine industry, we want to forget the devastating fires in Napa and Sonoma that destroyed history that we'll never get back. So what did we do? We decided we wanted to remember 2020 in a different way. So we decided to build our dream wine cellar. We've been collecting wine for many, many years, and a lot of it had been stored in off-site storage. But both Tracy and I love to entertain and socialize with our friends and family. So we decided, let's build a cellar in our home where people can come and visit us and enjoy wine and the passion and the stories that go with it. Let's take this wine, for example. It's a Nero d'Avola from Sicily. And it brings me back to my most recent trip there where Tracy and I and our friends, Pete and Debbie, hiked to the top of what the guide called Mountain Etna through the volcanic soil, and we got to taste some wonderfully crisp acidic wines. In fact, one of my favorite pronounced wines, grapes, that is out there is called Caracante. And I sit back today as I'm drinking this Nero de Ava and thinking about our experiences in Sicily and thought how much fun we had sitting back and Let's face it, you can't even sit down to tie your shoes in Sicily without somebody putting a plate of food in front of you and giving you a glass of wine. And when you have interesting grape names like Caracante, it just makes the trip that much better. And for my Italian friends out there, let's face it, you can't say that name without using your hands. It's just not possible. Been lucky enough to travel all over the world and collect all of these wonderful bottles of wine. Every one of them has a story from being able to have a bottle of wine inside a mountain uh, at a winery in Napa, to another bottle of wine that was from the same winery that beat the French in 1976 in something called the Judgment of Paris, to another wine from a family-owned vineyard in Napa, one of the few left. Their vineyard has been ravaged by fire and earthquake multiple times and they keep rebuilding and being stronger as a family unit. To another wine that's named after a dog that the winemaker found on the side of the road and nursed back to health. To another wine that my friend Pete and I opened when he renewed his wedding vows on the top of the Eiffel Tower. Every one of these bottles has a story, and I can't wait to share those stories with you. So why day drinking with Kevin? Well, for 25 years, I've been studying the people, the places, the history, the food that all go with wine. I've achieved over 17 different wine certifications, and I have a passion and enthusiasm for telling stories about wine and all the places we've been and all the people that I've met. And I hope to share those stories with you. We're going to talk to industry professionals, masters of wine, master sommeliers, wine directors, restaurateurs, distributors, winemakers, even some of my close personal friends and some of my favorite customers. And we're going to talk about that favorite story they have about where they had that magical bottle of wine, or maybe that unique year that the winemaker made the most perfect wine that they ever could. I think we all have stories like that, and I can't wait to share ours with you. Why the wine cellar? We wanted to forget 2020. We can close the door and push away all the thoughts of COVID and all the thoughts of our kids and the homework. Right now, my two cats are plastered against the door, begging to be let in. They don't understand why they can't come to the wine cellar and talk to you guys right now. And this is a place for Tracy and I to go and communicate about our day and share a wonderful glass of wine with friends 
and kind of leave all the stress of the world outside. And I think that you're going to enjoy some of the stories that I have to tell. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to show you how to saber a bottle of wine. I'm going to open a bottle of port with a flaming set of tongs. If you have an old bottle of wine or a damaged cork, I'm going to show you how to deal with that as well. Also, if you need to buy wine on a budget, we're going to go through what kinds of wines to look for and what ones not to buy. If you're out at a restaurant and looking at a wine list, maybe you need some assistance in picking just the right bottle so you don't fall into some of the traps that are out there. And I'm going to show you my approach to doing blind tasting. That's when you sniff and taste the wine and able to describe all of the flavors that come from the wine and the aromas that come from the wine and ultimately deduce where it came from, the grapes, and hopefully the year it was produced. Also, we'll talk about how to store wines, which wines belong in a cellar and which ones should you drink right away. And I think most importantly, we're going to talk about food and wine pairings. As a graduate of culinary school, I can tell you I have a passion for both cooking and wine. And we're going to talk about what, what wines pair with what foods. And we've got a couple special episodes coming up, including our episode on pairing wine with those special cookies that get delivered to your door about this time of year. And also for Valentine's Day, guys, we're going to talk about wine and chocolate pairings. So, if you want to have a special night with your sweetheart, we're going to talk about the wines and the chocolates that will help you out, if you know what I mean. I can't wait to tell you about all of the stories of the people and the places and the food and all of the interesting facts that there are to know about wine. And I look forward to going through this journey together. So over the next few days, weeks, months, and years, I hope that you find these little talks as enjoyable as I will. If you have suggestions for upcoming episodes, all you have to do is email me at daydrinkingwithkevin at gmail.com, and I'll be happy to take those ideas and try to incorporate them in upcoming episodes. So why Day Drinking with Kevin? Because I think we're going to share that passion and enthusiasm for wine. And we're going to talk about the people and the places and the stories that make wine great. And I want to share those with you. So until then, I wish you all a safe and happy 2021. Salute.